Hi. All right, I literally have my phone in the cornfield and it's propped in the plant like this um, so that I can get out here and show you um, how to find out how many days it is going to be until your corn is going to start tasseling and that's when we want to put uh, fungicide on. So what you wanna do is you want to look at the top here and start, start to peel back the leaves to see how many leaves are wrapped around the tassel. So I'm just gonna take these down so that you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, so we've got one here. All right, so there's one. Here's another one. Actually, I'm just gonna pull that right out. So I already did one. So here's two. Here's three. Okay, so you can see we still have a leaf. Here's four. And then we have our tassel. So right now, every leaf is unrolling and coming out about every two to two and a half days. So for easy math, well, let's just say two days because everything is growing pretty quick right now. So I just told you we had four leaves wrapped around this tassel. So in about eight days, we're gonna to start to see these tassels emerging. Um, and there's, there's not much disease out here right now, which is the perfect time that we wanna get a fungicide out. Um, let's see, I encourage you to get out in your field and when you're out in your field, go ahead and, and look up at the canopy and see if, if you can see any light green um, marks. Okay, um, see the specks there? Kind of hard to show you because this camera's turned around. See those light green specks? That's gonna be, those are spores and that's the start of disease. And we do not wanna wait to put on fungicide. Um, it's just like weeds. You don't wanna wait for the weeds to get big to kill them. You want to get the fungicide out here so that it can stop the spores in their, in their track and then prevent any spores from actually forming lesions. Because once you have a lesion, that plant tissue is dead. It is dead to us. And um, the other thing that Valtima or Headline Amp does, it helps to keep this canopy cooler. And right now in Southern Indiana, our nighttime temperatures are not dipping below 70. Corn does not like that. And so if we can actually help the canopy to stay cooler at night, and we are doing that by keeping the stomates open longer rather than closed, then that's gonna help tremendously once this corn does start to pollinate and all of its energy is going back into the production of it. So if you haven't turned in your acres um, or if you haven't gone out and looked at your corn, go do what I just did. Find, find how many leaves are wrapped around it. Um, and, and then, um, you know, let, let your retailer know, schedule the, the plane or helicopter to come in. Um, and as soon as it starts tasseling, go spray. Um, Valtima has about two weeks longer residual control than the other fungicides on the market. So don't wait, please don't wait. And waiting until it's like brown silk stuff, uh-uh. We need to stop that talk right now. Um, all right, the other thing I wanna show you is the weed control in this field. This was Armazon Pro at 16 ounces with a pound of atrazine and Roundup. So great weed control as well. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, Valtima, seven ounces on corn. If you wanna try it on beans, it's also labeled on soybeans, seven ounces at R3.